Hey, hey, hey everyone, welcome back to A Living Color TV. I'm your host, Alexis Monet. Before we get started, make sure you all hit that like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, everyone, so we all know Nicki Minaj just went number one on Billboard, and she has been very active on social media. So I guess she was in a good spirit because she dropped a new album last night called Queen Radio Volume 1. Now this album is a compilation album, it does consist of a lot of hits that she's already put out and just some of her most fun songs and well-known hits. And I find it very interesting that she titled the album Queen Radio because we all know what Nicki Minaj be given when she's on Queen Radio. It's always some tea and some kikis going on. And I wonder since she dropped this album, will she be doing a new show on Queen Radio on Amazon's app called M? to help promote this new project. Now I know this wasn't the album that everyone was expecting, but it's still an album and it's still some of her biggest hits. She does have Super Freaky Girl on the album, which I expected because it did go number one. She also dropped the song Hard White on the album. She also included the single Pound the Alarm and I really love the video when she first put it out. And it's off of one of my favorite albums from Nicki Minaj as well. She also included the song Fly, which features the singer Rihanna. That's a song that I always enjoy and I wish she would perform it more. Nicki Minaj also included her staple song Moment for Life with Drake. I feel like that's always gonna be her theme song. She also included one of her newer hits, Do We Have a Problem with Little Baby. She also included her single with Fabio Corn called We Go Up. And I really love that video as well. And I love that she had a mix of all of her songs from all of her eras. She included Right Through Me. She included Bees in the Trap, which is one of my favorite songs from Nicki with 2 Chains. She also included Chun Li. And when I think of Nicki's bad guy era and Queen Radio in its prime, I think of Chun Li. She also included a song with Ariana Grande called Bed. She added one of her biggest hits, which is Anaconda, which I was expecting her to drop that as well. She also released the song Barbie Dreams, which had a lot of people in their feelings when it was first dropped. Nicki also included some of her big pop hits like Starship. She also included the single Did It On Em, which I love that song from Nicki Minaj and I wish she dropped an official music video to it. She also included her biggest hit, Super Bass, which everybody loves, and it's one of her biggest pop records to date. She also included one of my top five favorite songs from Nicki Minaj, which is Lookin' A Dude. Now y'all know the official title to that song. I had to edit myself because y'all know what YouTube be given with certain words. However, I am gonna listen to this album again and again because it is some of Nicki's biggest hits and some of my favorite songs that she has dropped. And I just think that Nicki wanted to give us something because she did go number one and it is officially Pink Friday. So why not give us an album? But you let me know how you feel about everything down below. Thanks again for joining me for another video and until next time, bye.